Hello, hello. You know who it is, I hope. Um, but if you don't, Sarah V here. Uh, this is your weekly um, video email. It's kind of getting to be my favorite thing, you know, of the week. I used to be very, um, with my uh, assistant and I were talking about how I used to hate doing this because I always like to have, you know, a feedback audience, you know, having somebody to talk to, but I kind of like it now. So I just wanted to come on this week because the, you know, as you know, I come in here talking about um, my healing circles and I am now changing that name officially to my manifesting circles. But in order for us to really manifest something in your life, whether it is, you know, something, um, you know, that you want to live a happier, more joyful life, whether you want to have, you know, financial abundance, whether, whether you want to have, you know, really feel love in a relationship, you have to be it. So yes, it is going to be called the, the manifesting circle, but it is all about healing the garbage. And I'm going to talk about that today, um, that is standing in our way. And really the only thing that stands in our way of manifesting the most amazing, rich life is the garbage that is in our heads. And I'm going to give you, tell you kind of why I'm going to talk about that. So last, I think last video, I was talking about spring cleaning and in my manifesting circle every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Um, and I have been very, it's been so consistent since, I think it's been like since September. Um, we were, we had such a great discussion and I had new people in there. It was really, really amazing. It was a really good circle. Um, and I think one of the reasons is because of how I've been feeling lately. I, and I was saying in my circle, and if I'm sorry, if you're watching this and you were in my circle and I'm repeating myself, I am in the highest, I'm, I'm stepping into a higher ascension. And when I do that, it is kind of like a spring cleaning. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a little like over the top. But when I go into my ascension, I go on a fast. Um, I'm not recommending that for everybody, but this is what I do. I'm on day four of my five day fast. Um, I could eat my arm off because I'm, so, I'm hungry, but I am so clear. I am so clear. And when I, do, when I know that I'm ascending, when I'm going to a new level of growth in myself, um, I like to do this because I kind of clear out the garbage that I have collected that is stopping me from going to the next level. And it is, it is amazing what happens, you know, and I, I find with these, these, um, with these fasts that what happens is that I am able to step back even more from the garbage that has been in my head. You know, I, I love my garbage because my garbage is what kind of got me to where I am now. But what it does is like, I am so freaking clear of the things that the, the thoughts, because the only thing that is stopping us from manifesting exactly what we want in our life is the garbage that we continue to step over, if you will, in our heads. And we had this great conversation, a, a little bit about this. And, and I promised them on this Sunday, this Sunday, nine o'clock, um, we're going to do a meditation. It's one of my favorite ones where we actually step into our heads and kind of take a look around, but I'm not going to give it away because if you would like to experience that, we are going to have this, my, one of my favorite meditations on Sunday. Um, but what, when I'm on these fasts, I realize how much space that the old, you know, I, I kind of want to give it a little visual, but you know, those old pizza boxes, the garbage that maybe is on the ground that we keep stepping over thinking that it's not going to be in the way 
of us living an incredibly rich and abundant life. And I just love, you know, even though I could eat my arm off, I love the fact that I am in control of the garbage that has been a part of my life. You know, I used to be controlled by my garbage, by the garbage that, um, you know, I used to think that I couldn't write. Oh my God, I'm writing now. I'm on my third book. My third book is, I'm, I'm in the outline form of my third book. My second book is going to be um, coming out in the summer. I wish I'd known. I have this whole campaign. I'm, I'm going out next week to California to a retreat where I'm going to be presenting myself and my manifesting kits and all the things that I'm doing. Um, and I am, I'm going to be doing that this week. I've just lost my train of thought because I just had somebody email me. Um, so I'm going to be out there doing this, but what I realize now is that I have, oh yeah, I know what I was saying is that there are, you know, so many things that I, that the garbage in my head told me that I couldn't do. I couldn't write. I couldn't find, I couldn't, you know, be in a healthy, loving relationship oh my gosh, we will be celebrating two years now together. I've been out of my marriage for almost three years and I didn't realize that I could receive the love, the support, this healthiness. And, and never will I ever say that my marriage did not fulfill me at one point because it did. Like I married him because you know I wanted somebody to take care of me and I wanted somebody to grow with and, and raise four children with totally did that. He's the most, he's a lovely, lovely person. I will never say anything bad, but you know, I'm ascending now and I didn't realize that I could receive and also give love. So that was another lie that I used to tell myself. I am, you know, building my business. I'm, I am creating the life that I've always wanted to live and we all deserve it. We all deserve to live abundantly. And that doesn't, that is not about tangible things. That is about a feeling. Remember the, your inner feeling is your magnet. It is what is you, what you are going to attract. So because I've done a lot of work on self-love, I became love. We all, we all are that. Um, and so if we, if we want abundance in our life, we get to feel it, we get to be it, and then we get it. Um, and like I said, that it, abundance to me means absolutely nothing about stuff. It means experiences. It means self-care. It means, you know, I always remember that um, I did not, you know, I didn't get this, but now, you know, I can, I went to Fort Lauderdale, um, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago or a month ago or so, and I stayed at, <laughs> I stayed in one not in a, in a great hotel. It was pretty basic. And, but you know what? I went to Whole Foods. I got some flowers. I made, you know, I had my, I always carry my stones and my candles and my incense. <laughs> um, I am not a light packer. Um, and, you know, I made it a beautiful place, a beautiful space. So we're going to be talking a lot about that because this is going to be my next book. It's living with Lakshmi. And if you don't know who Lakshmi is, look it up um, because she is the goddess of abundance. And this is my next title of my book is living with Lakshmi, but that's another, that's another um, email, but I want you, you know, I really want you to understand that your thoughts, if they're limited, they are the garbage in your head. And that is what's slowing you down. That is what is preventing you from taking that next step to where you deserve to be. And I am, I am feeling so energized. I feel like there is nothing stopping me now. You know, the, the thoughts sometimes, you know, will come in and I have a little debate with my inner gremlin and, you know, I'm like, okay, well that, that's not really true there. So if you have a limited thought, there are three questions that you get to um, ask yourself, ask, debate your gremlin, like as if it's like a separate energy from you. And one is, is it true? Is the thought that I'm thinking, is that true? Is it really true? 
okay, no, not necessarily, because here's the evidence that it's not. Um, do you really believe it? Do you really believe that you're not enough? Do you really believe that you know, you're not attractive? Do you really believe that you can't do it? Do you really believe it? And probably the answer is no. And then the third one is, is this thought serving me? Is it serving my highest good? And you know, if the answer is no, then you know that it's a lie. And these are some of the things that you know. When I'm doing these fasts, when I can step back from my, um, you know, the 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 energy of a thought. Oh my God! It, it's like there's nothing there. So if you are, you know, in a place that you are trying to manifest a better life, letting go of stress or letting go of anxiety, or you're trying to start a relationship, or you just want to live a beautiful magnetic life that we all deserved, um, think, start stepping back from your thoughts. Like, what are they? What are they trying to prevent you? What are you afraid of? Because the, the energy that is really behind all of our thoughts is fear. What are you afraid of? Right? So I have, I have so many so many amazing tools that I now use in my practice every day on myself. This is what I teach my no matter what women. And those are the women that come into my healing circle every Sunday. Um, so I would love, we're going to do this um, meditation, this room in your head meditation on Sunday. And I would love for you to experience it because we can not be the thoughts that stop us. They are not you. They are just lies that you've, you've um, attached to from your childhood. So if you haven't already, please come in, try it out. I had a, people like randomly came in and I'm like, where did you come from? And they, you know, they, they, they saw me in a, in a workshop that I did. And I hope they come back. If you are watching now, Catherine, um, please come back in. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's it. So understand, let go of the pizza boxes and all this garbage that you keep stepping over that is stopping you from manifesting your most abundant and rich life. And I hope to see you in the healing circle, in the manifesting healing circle. I now changed my name and I have to remember to, um, to say it, but yeah, the manifesting circle, it is now going to be called because in order to manifest, we get to heal. We get to heal. We get to let go of all the pizza boxes and the, the garbage that we've accumulated all our lives. And now we get to move forward in whatever direction that you want to. So please come in Sunday morning, nine o'clock. I'll be there. I'm always there. So please come in. Um, you will get a reminder. Come on in, try it out and, and come meditate with me. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.